Hi guys, how are you doing today? Um, I'm gonna make this a uh, quick little video for you to see what type of witch you are. Um, are you a good witch? Are you a bad witch? What type of witchcraft are you using? I'm gonna try to guess where you already are and also tell you what would actually really work for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and if you want to check out my Etsy shop, I offer personal readings if you're ever interested to actually get your situation a little bit more in depth and see if you can get manifestation tools that are custom for you. And you can also donate to my channel. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it very, very much. Don't forget to leave me a comment to tell me if you did enjoy it, your reading and if you did relate to it and leave me a thumbs up that would be really nice thank you so so much 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 love to you hey guys quick little video right now to know which type of witch <laughs> see what I did there <laughs> which type of witch are you I just recorded a video that's literally three hours long if I don't cut it down so Three hours of intense channeling. I'm in a mood. Okay, so number one, street rock. Number two, tiger's eye. Number three, adventuring. One, two, three. Pick a deck and refer to the timestamps in the description box or the comments. And pause the video if you need it. And let's go straight into your reading i have my witch nails i'm in a mood i told you let's put those aside and go straight with pile number one the street rock hurry to pick if this is not your pile <laughs> and pause the video the street rock so what i'm thinking is maybe you might be a lot into like earth magic maybe you do work with the elements you, maybe you um, be burying your spells, could be working um, with, um, could be working with animals or spirit animals, um, could be um, physical, touchable rituals with a lot of objects like, um, Working with stones and crystals, of course, but also potions. Here we go. Okay. So, confirmation about the animals. Um, and about, you know, like all those little references. So, I feel like you do... The, I see the tools, I see the keys, I see the candles. I feel like you do a lot of practical magic. Um, and I also see... The beach, which makes me think that you work a lot with nature. There's also a lot of wood, a lot of elements. Um, what I see uh, is that maybe, maybe sometimes you fail to see how powerful you are. And maybe you focus a little too much on the practical side of things. So you're like, oh, I wish I had... Um, I wish I had um, this crystal or I wish I had money to buy more supplies I wish I had that book and then you don't see that you already have everything that you need to manifest your deepest desires and you don't actually need all those tools um, the magic is within you I do see that you might work a lot with like flowers and birds and again animals um, elements again we had the water and now we have the fire and the stone so it definitely like the type of witch that you are I see the light I see that you actually are a successful witch it's just sometimes you need to look back and see your accomplishments right yeah I feel like you fail to recognize how much you already have manifested and how much you already have learned and how much you already have accomplished and because of that lack mentality, you're actually gonna regress as a witch if you don't pay attention. So be careful not 
to dwell too much on what you don't have because this card which is just a couple empty cups and a full cup can turn into a whole lot of nothing I feel like maybe you're working a lot on healing healing yourself um, from past trauma and maybe from those past trauma can come this energy of lack if you want the healing I just had a, like a huge session um, of healing in another video I don't know if it's coming this week or next week and I hope it's coming this week I aim for it to come out this week but like I said three hours long so make yourself a cup of tea and a, and a snack if you watch because it's about an hour per reading because there's three three choice of three hours so um, yeah I feel like you're trying to heal through magic and to create more abundance for yourself with the help of all the tools that mother nature might give to you and my advice is that you need to get out of the lack mentality start doing way more gratitude and less potions okay i hope this helps you manifest a better life um if you want a more personal reading on your situation and how to manifest your best life which i feel like you already do you just need to open your eyes and see it um we can do a personal reading because now my etsy shop is open and i work really hard on it so i'll be really grateful if you would like to either book a personal reading with me or at least share the link or share my videos with your friends especially if you have friends who are into that sort of things and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alert of when my other videos are coming and um this one was a really quick fun one and if you want right now i have a whole playlist on my channel uh, of pick a card videos that you might enjoy and if you want to be my friends join me on instagram let's be a whole happy family hope you heal whatever you're trying to heal past traumas are a bitch bio number two tiger's eye so the tiger's eye is telling me that you're a witch of beauty and maybe you can work or maybe you're already working with goddesses maybe you are working with um, trying to create more beauty in your surroundings or in yourself, more self-confidence. Um, more abundance. Luxury. All sorts of nice things. Dog hair. Okay, so the first thing that I see is I feel like you're kind of a defensive witch. You might be doing a lot of protection spells. I don't know why. Why do you need to be protected? Mm, I feel like you might be working with um, fire, maybe candles a lot. I feel like you give credit where credit is due. You're not there to... Um, I feel like maybe you're one of those witches who actually do things by the book. And then give credit to where you learn those things. The star. You're manifesting good stuff. Maybe it is because you are in the public eye. Maybe you do have a YouTube channel or something like that. Where when you do um when you do maybe like some public spells or manifestation or all kinds of videos or maybe it's articles something that something i don't know public you give back credit all the time because you don't want to make enemies I feel like you work a lot with your faith. Maybe you do work with the stars, astrology maybe.
you really realize that the power comes from you and not whatever tools. I feel like you're a law of attraction type of witch. Maybe you're a more experienced witch. Maybe that's why you made enemies. I don't know. And I feel like you do manifest a lot of great stuff. I feel like you know what you're doing. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this. I don't know what type of energy this is. If you do know. This defensive energy. You need to let that go because this is low vibrational. And you don't need that where you're going. You don't need that. Um, with those beautiful energies you have here. Success is definitely around you. If it's not already manifested, it's coming. But you want to let that go. Protect yourself instead of... Protect yourself by just... Not even thinking about it. It's gone. I hope this helps. Um... It was a fun, quick little video. Um, if you want something a little more in depth or if you want a, like a full reading, you can go on my Etsy shop because now it's open and I work so hard and so long on it. And um, you don't have to, but it would be really cool. And if not, maybe you can share my link and promote my work, whatever it is, my video, my Etsy shop. And subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be alerted of the next video coming um and if you want to watch more pick a card right now i have a whole playlist on my channel please leave me a thumbs up and a comment telling me if you resonate with this and yeah you can become my friend on instagram if you want you don't have to but you can i hope you enjoy your reading and i wish you much love By number three, the adventure. I feel like you work a lot with herbs and you try you probably do like money magic, healing magic. Maybe you're trying to grow as a person, maybe awakening magic. Or just spirituality in general. Uh, 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 um, Maybe you're an eclectic witch because I just feel like you disagree with a lot of things. Like, I feel like you cannot stick to just one wisdom or one practice and you kind of switch. Like you agree with it and you disagree with this and you agree with this and you agree with this. Or maybe you don't want to be part of a community because you, can't, you cannot seem to be integrating. You're too eclectic to be part of a witch community and maybe you wish that would have been different. I feel like manifestation is going very well for you. I feel like you're trying to get earthly pleasure out of your manifestation, which I was saying with um, m money, magic, pentacle energy. This is great stuff. Again, this is great, great, great energy. Maybe you're trying to manifest it. Maybe you want it all. <laughs> you want the love. I feel like maybe instead of looking for a community, you were looking for a partnership. I feel like you're trying to share your spirituality, which is great. Maybe you're looking for twin flame energy. Just be careful because that can attract negative stuff as well. Uh, make sure that you always ask for things to be of the higher and greater vibrations okay um you're manifesting great stuff obviously be careful with conflicts and you don't need to disagree and argue with people if you disagree with something don't argue with others just do your own thing i i feel like a strong sense of community presence so maybe you are part of a community but you somehow don't get along with them maybe it's against a church or maybe it's against a community of witches i don't know mm -hmm. maybe it's about transmission 
maybe you are a mother or maybe you have had your witch powers or knowledge passed on from your mothers to you um i feel like this is a family thing or it could be a community thing You're definitely manifesting some love and some pentacle energy at the same time this is good stuff just be careful with the conflicts okay i hope you enjoyed this very quick reading and um if you did don't forget to leave me a thumbs up please check out my etsy uh store that i just opened in case you want more information personal readings um you can also um subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss the next videos and if you want to watch more videos now i have a whole playlist of pick a cards on my channel and you can also become friends with me on instagram i hope you enjoyed and i hope you have a wonderful life thanks for watching